This is a demonstration of Preactor being used for sequencing a number of packing lines where the changeover time between the batches is dependent on the attributes of the batch before it. Preactor has the capability to recalculate the changeover times automatically as the sequence changes and in addition when using Preactor 400 APS and higher versions it can automatically minimise the changeover time. This is the Preactor workspace. It is an easy to use interface from where you can access and edit data, data maintenance, access help, import and export data to and from other systems, and access the Preactor sequencer where you generate and interact with the production schedule. First we will import the orders to schedule. Then we will access the Preactor sequencer by clicking on the generate schedule icon. This is the Preactor Sequencer screen. The Gantt chart shows the resources to be scheduled in the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. The icons at the bottom in the Unscheduled Operations window represent the tasks or process steps to be scheduled, one icon for each operation step in each of the orders. In this example we have four packing lines. Each packing line can work on any of the products. Now we will load the batches onto the four packing lines without using any optimization. We will choose to forward schedule by priority. The schedule has now been generated, taking into account all the resources constraints. In this case we had four white batches, then four yellow, then four pink and then four red. This is repeated for another 16 batches. The changeover time represented by the black bar at the start of the coloured section varies. There is a small changeover time between different colours when the following colour is darker. However, when for example there is a change from red to white, there is a much larger changeover time. There are 12 orders that are shown late by the red text on the bars. We will save this schedule to compare with alternatives later. The user can drag and drop, for example, white batches together to reduce the changeover time. See how the changeover is recalculated as we drag a batch to a new position on the resource. You can do the same for yellow, pink and white batches. The total schedule time is much shorter because we have reduced the changeover time by keeping like orders together. When you have many hundreds of batches, this manual interaction can be very time consuming. Using Preactor's APS optimization rules, we can do the same thing automatically. First, remove the batches from the Gantt chart and select the preferred sequence APS rule. Now select the APS preferred sequence rule. The look ahead window determines how far you look ahead in the orders to be scheduled. Here we will select one day. That is, all orders with a due date within one day of the current time will be included in the optimization of the changeover time. Save the schedule to compare later. However, this is not the complete minimization that we could achieve. This would be when all the white batches are on the packing line, all the yellow batches on another line and so on. Then there would be no change over time. Preactor has another rule for this. 
Instead of each resource selecting a batch that minimises its change over time locally, the minimise overall setup time rule looks across all resources when making that decision. Now remove the batches from the Gantt chart as before and select the minimise overall setup rule. Now we have no change over time and there are no late batches. Save the schedule so we can compare this with the other schedule alternatives we have saved. We will now compare the three schedules we have saved. Let's look at the due date performance. You can see that there are fewer later orders with the preferred sequence schedule we saved. Now compare this with the minimise overall setup schedule. There are no later orders using this rule. Now repeat using the order early or late bar chart. This has shown just a few features of Preaptor when used to optimise the schedule by using intelligent sequencing. There are other examples showing Preaptor linked with an ERP system where order, bill of materials and routing information is held in ERP and passed to Preaptor as required. We have other demonstrations that show Preaptor being used in other environments such as make-to-order job shops.